Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is about pressure pipe. Do you need to use pressure pipe? Is pressure pipe a complete overkill? The enormous costs, pressure pipe and fittings. And if I haven't changed your mind, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can save about 50% off on all your pressure pipe and fittings. And also I'll show you how you'll probably never need to use imperial or inch pipe ever again. <laughs> So if you're new to ponds, or even if you're a veteran, unfortunately, welcome to the world of bad advice. It's, it's companies selling the wrong products for the wrong type of pond or application. And also the bad advice goes along that really, really bugs me. We spend a lot of our time um, with our customers having to re-educate them um, because they've been missold something already or misadvised. Um, so yeah, it takes us quite a while to actually talk to them, explain how things are run, and then obviously they have to get their head around it, and then they have to, tr to trust us, and then it's only after they've tried what we've explained them to do, and also spent money on that, then do they have our full trust in it. So what I'm trying to do is cut out the bad advice so everyone knows from the start, they can enjoy their pond, they can get on with it, a lot of people don't have a pond because their friends have had a pond which had loads of trouble and then obviously you know how it goes they'll tell their friend they'll tell the other friends mom and dad uncles aunties and then you know it gets round it's not great for the industry fish are easy to keep if you're new to the channel we're here to help you with all your, your pond problems or pond conundrums that you may have um, there's always in our opinion a better way of doing something and also we can show you cost-effective ways of getting or receiving the same high quality results at a better price or fraction of the cost. Yeah, so if you like our videos, let us know. Hit that like button down there and the subscribe button so you'll receive notifications when we make more videos so you'll be the first ones to know. It's the only way that we know that we're helping and it gives us motivation to do some more. Pressure pipe. Now, I can guarantee you, if you travel to any koi shop around the country, um, they'll sell you 10 bar pressure or 16 bar pressure pipe. They're the main two that they stock. Let's find out what bar pressure is. So one bar pressure, I've got some figures down here. So one bar pressure is equivalent to 14 and a half PSI, okay? So 10 bar, obviously 10 of those, is 145 PSI. So PSI means pounds per square inch, if you didn't know that. So I'm just gonna tell you now, 10 bar pressure is a lot. So manufacturers make pressure pipe, not for ponds, trust me. Not even for swimming pools, although swimming pools use them more than anything. It's mainly for use for like pumping liquids or gases, you know, around factories, different places like that that need it. Let's just say you had a pipe that was 100 meters high off the ground, vertical, we filled it up with water. As the pipe fills up, the pressure is going to be building up in the pipe, mainly at the bottom. So the higher it goes, the fuller water it gets, the higher the pressure becomes. Another way of looking at pressure is pressure underwater. If you had a 100 meter deep pond, for instance, and um, at the bottom you had a pipe. Now, if the pipe was full of water, there would be no pressure on that pipe because it's got water in it. So pressure only happens when there's either a force from internal or external. If it was full of air, for instance, like a submarine underwater deep down, that's when the water's trying to push in to that void to fill it. That's basically how it works. So there's no pressure, say in a bottom drain or anything like that, there's nothing because it's full of water, there's no air in it. Now, the only other type of pressure you can get is say, for instance, when a pump, is pumping water there's not a lot of resistance going horizontal there may be some but not enough to to warrant any high pressure pump you may need a pump with a higher pressure if you're pumping up so if you've got a waterfall or, or something something like that so i mean i've never really seen a waterfall that needs to, a, a high high pressure pump more than say four or five meters um not not in a garden pond especially maybe a fancy hotel or something like that that 
or a big swimming pool or water slide, then obviously you need a higher pressure pump. Okay, so to give you a few examples of how low pressure is in a pond or even a swimming pool, considering the materials we've been buying or using. You might be familiar with these, especially the core guys. So an Evolution Aqua bead filter. Okay, so that's like a swimming, uh, a swimming pool filter, you may have seen it, like a sand filter, very similar, it's like a round filter, um, all sealed up and can take high pressure. So high pressure on a bead filter, so maximum bar, so just, just think of this, so 10 bar pressure is the pipe work we've been installing. The maximum bar that that filter can take is 1.4 bar, okay? So 1.4 bar is 21.7 PSI. So just think about that. So you spent all this money on this really high pressure pipe and that filter can't even take anything more than 1.4 bar. And let me tell you, 1.4 bar is, is quite a lot of pressure. So that gives you an example on how that is. And another example, so um, a lot of us will be familiar with the Awaza filter clears, you know, the, the pressure filters you can bury in the ground with a little handle on top, you can clean it from the outside. So those ones, so they're a pressure filter as well, and this is from Awaza's website, so their max pressure is, <laughs> trying to look, is half a bar, okay? So that isn't much at all. So the filter clear filters or the external sort of pressure filters is a lot easier connecting with flexi pipes. So you probably would never need to use pressure pipe anyway, but just to give you an example, if you're looking at pumps now, so you might be thinking, well, what about the pump? That's gonna be putting on a lot of pressure as well. So give an example, I've got two pumps here. One of them is a swimming pool pump that pumps high. The max head is 24 meters and its um, flow rate is 33,000 liters an hour. So that's that's a really nice flow, that's, that's a lot of water. So at 24 uh, meters high, the max pressure on this particular um, pump is 2.4 bar, okay? So that 24 meters up, and all that needs is two and a half bar of pressure. It's crazy. So that pump is designed really to pump up. I imagine they'd use it for like water slides or something like that because you couldn't use it on one of their filters because like I said, their, their max pressure was about one and a half bar. Now, going back to more of a pond pump we may be familiar with. So let's talk about an Aquamax Titanium. And um, the cost of this pump is is 2,000, just over the 2,000 mark. So more than double what the actual um, the Pentair swimming pool pump is and this particular one can pump 81,000 litres an hour but you never guess how high up it can only pump so this one pumps nearly triple what the swimming pool pump will pump but can only pump five metres high so max height is five and a half metres high so when you look at the um, the pond pump side of things you know all the normal pond pumps that we all use um, they're designed really to pump horizontal they'll go up a little bit but they're not designed to pump too high so they they're not high pressure pumps this brings me on to the other thing so a lot of people will go into a pond shop and they'll be like yeah okay i need some pipe work from a pond well what type of pond you're going to have i'm going to have a box filter blah 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 and bosh they go straight in for the pressure pipe they're like oh you need to have this you need to have that you need to have all these fittings all these valves and then you walk out spending like a grand on pipe work i i like the look of the pressure pipe personally, and it is stronger, don't get me wrong, it is stronger than the waste pipe, but if you fit your waste pipe properly and use the correct wall fitting somewhere where it won't get knocked, it's not gonna break. Depending on the situation and how you want it to look, I would 100% say yeah, just use waste pipe the whole way through. Some filters you buy already come incorporated with um, pressure pipe, so, just depending on what type of person you are. You might not want to mix the black with the gray, you might not care. You can easily get um, your rubber boot um, connectors so you can go from waste to, to um, gray pressure pipe, no problem. And they're not actually that expensive. So don't be scared, you can easily convert your waste pipe onto your pressure pipe. A lot of filter systems are actually um, waste pipe ready so there's a lot of fittings that will connect onto 
um, most filters, so the black waste pipe, and um, a lot of the koi manufacturers like Cockney Koi make a lot of fittings that are compatible with solvent well waste pipe. So you can go through and through with that stuff, providing you don't like run past and knock it, it's not going to break. It's really, it really is strong, not as strong as pressure pipe because it's not as thick and it's a different material. You'll go onto our website, you'll buy something from us and then our good suppliers send it directly to you. So we, we don't actually have a shop, so our prices generally can be a lot cheaper because we don't have all the expenses of heating, um, running costs, you know, rent and all that sort of thing. So you still get all the warranties and everything else. So if you buy from us, if we're cheaper, it's because we can send it out to you directly from our, our, um, our manufacturers or suppliers. <laughs> Our supplier sells seven and a half bar pipe, so it's a little bit thinner, but again, really, really strong, um, and it works out a lot cheaper. A supplier online, so ten, this is ten bar pressure pipe. I've done it in a hundred meters just to keep it a nice round number. Um, you probably wouldn't buy hundred meters, but just to give you an example, hundred meters of fifty millimeter, so inch and a half pressure pipe, uh, with delivery, etc., is five hundred and twenty pounds. Okay, so we'll do it at seven and a half bar pressure pipe and um, 100 meters would be 332 pounds. That's about three pound 32 a meter, opposed from five pound 18. So almost half price really, so it's a good saving. Like I said, it's it's good stuff, honestly. It's pressure pipe um, and it will fit all your little fittings um, and connections throughout. Um, give you another example. So if you did it on, so if you're going for your four inch um, or your 100 mil, so 110 mil, um, so again, 100 meters um, from a supplier online, you're looking at almost two, well, two grand. So 1,999 pounds. It's 100 meters of 110 mil pressure pipe. Okay, um, we could do the same using the 7.5 bar pressure pipe. Uh, that's 1,200. So 12 pound a meter from us or 20 pound a meter from them. This is the clever thing. So. A lot of pond filters and equipment are done on imperial. So you get two types of pressure pipe. You get imperial, which is inch, and you get metric, which is in millimeters. Inch pipe work tends to be more expensive than metric. Well, we can't get the seven and a half bar pressure pipe in inch. So 10 bars an inch. So I think that's just probably the difference. So our prices in inches are, are cheaper anyway, but I've, I just wanted to show you how, how to do it using metric and inch pipe. So your equipment you buy say maybe a bead filter has already got a um, a few connections which will be imperial so that's an inch and the pipe we're selling is metric so in millimeters so they're the two types you can get um, you can buy a um, it's called a transition socket imperial one side and metric the other so you can go from inch to imperial so it's a great little bit of kit and again they're cheap as hell so a 50 mil one of those is two pound 49 um in two two inch sorry 63 which is two inch um 299 so if you had a bead filter that had a, f a few sections on there that needed to be um, adapted you can buy a little adapter that would change everything to be to metric pipe so you can use a cheaper pipe throughout your system so you don't even need to buy any inch pipe at all so that's a good way of doing it it'll save you a lot of money and really really easy to do as well if you are interested in any pipe work from us so we really have to do like a minimum order of 100 pounds, which probably suit everyone anyway. Um, not great if you just wanted to buy a few fittings. So best way to do it, send us um, the fittings that you need, length of pipe work. Um, I'll send you a price and then we'll create you a link through the website so you can go online and just pay for it that way. Um, so it's all done properly. And also um, our website, it will be updated soon with all the fittings, etc. on. So you could just go on and pick them for yourselves. But for now, if you just email us, email me info at simplyponds.co.uk. Uh, my name's Darren. And um, if you uh, if you want to go on our shop, the shop is www.sussexpondsuppliers.co.uk. Um, it is all being updated on there. So just bear with us with a few different prices, might need changing, etc. Um, and there's not much in the way of pipe work on there, but it will be soon. Okay, so anything you need, send us an email. Uh, minimum order is about £100. And um, as it's coming straight from the manufacturer, 
usually takes, especially for pipe work, maybe about five or six days to come in. Um, fittings and um, smaller things, usually if they're in the, in the warehouse, they send them out the next day. So they don't have to wait too long. And most of the time you've got to plan your project. Um, so, you know, you probably don't need them straight away anyway. So hope it helps. I hope it can save you some money.